church planning thing, and I'm like, I need to get involved in this. And um, yeah, so I asked around, and then I was put into a church, and um, honestly, I had no idea what I was getting myself into, and, and I knew that in a good way, because like, it's been such a blessing. And um, uh, so, rewind a year ago, I had initially moved to Keene, and I wasn't involved in anything. Like, I would, you know, I was doing the typical, you know, thing, I would go to, I would go to Friday Night Vespers, I would go to church, I would go to Sabbath school, and then I'd go home. And that became like my routine. And, you know, you would study the Bible, you know, I would pray, I'd do all that stuff, and, but there was just something missing. There was just something honestly like missing. And I started getting involved in more and more things that were out of my, com- my comfort zone. And it's, you know, and I think so often we get stuck in like our comfort zone and we don't want to just get out there and like mm-hmm. do what God has called us to do. And um, so I want to read Romans 10 verse uh, 13 and 14. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And we need to be those mm-hmm. preachers. We need to like, be out there. And um, otherwise those people aren't going to know about God. And yeah, so I... I you know, it's been a calling, and it has been out of my comfort zone. It really has. I mean, this is not something I've ever done, and um, and I think when you think about church planting, you think, oh, somebody planted, they built a church in the Amazon jungle somewhere, and <laughs> I never, you know, I never knew about this process, and it honestly, it's been a true blessing. Now, at Mansfield Church, um, that's a church that we're trying to, that we are um, doing a church planting at, and. I think one of the biggest things that that has impacted me in doing this has been the power of prayer. Because when you when you go in door to door, you, it's it's a lot of prayers happening at once, like happening in a short mm-hmm. period of time. And you see the power of prayer. You see walls come down with people. Like you know, initially they kind of like peep the door open, and then as soon as you pray for them, like Amen. it's just amazing the power of prayer. And um, yeah, I just think that we need to get out of our comfort zone. We need to just, you know, go out there because it really has been a true blessing. So, so when I wasn't doing this, you know, because they always say, you know, you need to pray, you study your Bible, you need to go do outreach. That third thing, outreach, was missing, and it honestly has like really has you know changed me and like impacted me in a way that I think everybody needs to experience. So, get out there, go door to door, and plant the church. So. And then I just want to, when I was thinking about, um, like, I was thinking about, you know, doing this testimony yesterday, and a song came to mind, and it was, Make me a servant, humble and weak. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak. And may the prayers of my heart always be, make me a servant. Amen. Amen.